So what is new in AppCo 2017.1? Quite a lot as it happens. Hello, I'm Phil Nash, and I'm going to take you on a quick tour of what's changed. We'll start with Swift language features. And for this demo, we're at the start of some numeric classes. Now we want to extend this base class with some debugging features. So we'll add a print statement in here, and we can use a new live template, PV, as a shortcut for printing a variable along with its name. While we're here, we'll mark this function as dynamic. Note that we now get completions for the dynamic keyword. We'll come back to why we made it dynamic in just a moment. Next, we'll add a protocol that has a couple of operators. AppCode now recognizes Swift free static operators in protocols. And note that we get completions for prefix and postfix, as well as infix. So let's put this all together now in a number class. We'll subclass our base number, implement our protocol, and equatable too, just for good measure. Now we have quite a lot to implement and a few things we can override. We can do all of this in one go with Control O for overrides. To help you see what's going on, the possible overrides are now organized into this hierarchical view. We can even see our extension off here. So let's implement everything. Now we decided that in this class we don't want to print in our debug function. Instead, we want to log. So there's another live template for that, log v, which works the same way, but gives us an ns log. Now let's go to our protocol implementations. Note that because this is a final class, the use of self in the protocols has been replaced with the number class here. So we could just return x here to make this compile but probably what we want to do is get the value out, increment it, and then wrap it back up in a number. Now remember that with operators in Swift, you do have to be careful sometimes with white space. This is an error here, for example. Now Swift 3 clarified what happens if, for some reason, you wanted to put a comment in there. And app code now respects that too. Okay, let's switch to complex numbers now. But this time we're going to start from the usage. Now, if we Alt Enter here, we get a new intention action, create type. We can do it here or in another file, which is perfect for doing TDD. So we can choose what type to create. Let's go with struct and note the initializer has also been generated. Now let's use the incremental protocol and we can implement those methods, this time with the implement tool. And we'll just return X to make this compilable. So let's switch to another file, and this one uses emoji as various identifiers, including the names of types, functions, variables, and in comments and strings. These colored emoji are newly supported in AppCode, so knock yourself out, we won't judge. This fire function here hasn't been implemented yet, so Alt Enter again brings up the intention to create it, and you can see emoji also supported in pop ups. So let's implement those. But notice we have a few fix me's to do's and marks in this file. If we bring up the structure view pop up, we can see that first, yes, emoji here too, but also our marks fix me and to do. That's also true if we open the structure view tool window and the dedicated to do window, which already showed them, but now has emoji as well. So with those windows open, let's remove that fix me now that we're done with it we see that it disappears in real time from the tool windows. And I think we can remove that to do now as well. So we've got one to do left. Let's see what that one's for. And that drops us here into some mixed code. And we're going to call into an Objective-C API that's been bridged. If we go to the Objective-C code, we can see that we have some constants being wrapped as an enum, some more being wrapped in a struct, an NS enum, an NS options, and a class with some mapped properties. But let's keep this code open on the right as we use it from Swift. First, we'll make a call to this function taking some of the types. We get completions for the bridged enum and notice the constants prefix has been dropped. And for the bridged struct. Now let's create an instance of our bridged class and start using it. First, the NS string name then the NS options attributes and the NSE num state. 
So AppCode now makes working with Bridge Objective-C code just that bit more natural in Swift. And while we're here, we can see down here that we're using the new Swift free syntax for selector and key path, also newly supported in AppCode. Well, now we're ready to build our project. We're getting a few different types of message in the output window. Well, now we can filter messages by type. For example, we may want to hide notes or information. We may even want to hide warnings sometimes. Whatever you want to see, you can now tune it just how you want. And when we're ready to run, we might need to debug, and that means setting breakpoints. Breakpoints in AppCode have always been very powerful, with the ability to set up complex conditional breakpoints, but some have found it inconvenient that it's so easy to remove a breakpoint by just clicking on it. So there's now an option in preferences to get the Xcode behavior, where you have to physically drag the breakpoint into the editor window to remove it. Clicking will just disable it. And sometimes we still need to do a text search across our projects, and finding path has been revamped to be more direct and usable. Preview window is now integrated, and you see changes reflected in it immediately. You can still open the find window, but you really need to do that now. Now there have also been a whole host of improvements to C++ support, particularly for C++ 14 and even C++ 17. But for a full rundown on those, please see the C line What's New video, as all the language level features there are common to AppCode. And there's much more, of course, including more Swift free support, meta types, and the remote host access plugin is now bundled in AppCode. See the What's New blog post for more details. That's all from me for now. Thanks for listening and enjoy AppCode 2017.1.